So the backdrop to a 4,800 price target, um, and that is year end, Brian, or or 12 months from now? Because no, 40, it's, it's year it's end. Year end. Yeah, it's year end. Now remember. It's, so with, so with, that's basically you're basically revisiting highs. Yeah, right? so I mean, that's 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 your call. And yet the backdrop in the back half of the year could be higher unemployment. Yeah, could we don't be, know that, though. So we don't know that. Melissa, so you think because that the economic outlook of higher unemployment and I mean, you, you think that's wrong, that we can still achieve lower inflation without ticking higher unemployment. So, so that's two different things. Higher employment and ticking higher unemployment are two different things. Right. So mm -hmm. if you're talking about four or five percent unemployment, I went back and looked at, someone told me I have like a YouTube channel, and I looked back at like 2009 <laughs> or 10. I didn't even know this because I don't ever even watch myself. But I was we were talking about 11, 12 percent unemployment, and we we're in the middle of a big cyclical bull market, and the Fed was going in the opposite direction. And we're talking about, are we ever going to get sub 10 percent unemployment? Even if we get into the fours, uh, I think the big thing that people are missing is, the high-end wages, obviously, uh, on Wall Street, we're not getting paid what we got paid last year. We're not. And, and that's just the reality of it. But the lower-end wages are going to be coming up as blue-collar workers continue to take on a lot of the supply chain changes that we're, we're ultimately going to see as we transition to jobs and onshoring. Farmer Jim talks about he's not on the show today, but he talks a lot about that. Yeah. So the E part of the employment side, I think, is going to hold in better than everybody thinks. And so, too, is the earnings thing. The bears are completely overshadowing and overlooking what happened in the second quarter. 270 basis points higher with the earnings. And my bet is that earnings are going to hold in a lot better than everybody thinks because the secular trend, not the cyclical, but the secular trend, 20 to 25 years is, this has been going on, since the tech wreck, Melissa, that corporate America has been sandbagging the number, under-promise and over-deliver, and they built in this inherent cushion. So anybody looking at seasonality of earnings for the second half, they've got it wrong. It's too academic.